Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We're on Season 3, Episode 8 and 9 here. We've been doing a pretty consistent two episodes a week schedule, but sadly that is going to change for the next 18 weeks. I know that's a long time. Also a weird number of weeks, right? 18? That is because I am starting the highly requested show by a lot of you, even in DMs on, on my socials and stuff. People are like, you gotta start agent carter that's all gonna tie together so that's what i'm doing i'm starting agent carter we're gonna be having an episode of agents of shield and an episode of agent carter up every single week of course the episodes are early for members as well i don't think i'll be releasing them both on saturdays i think i will be doing an agent of shield on saturday and agent carter probably on a sunday or monday but yeah right after agent carter is done we'll go back to the agents of shield being double episodes which will be around the time of I, th I think season four, episode like five or something, if I did my math correctly. So yeah, that'll be coming. And then a special new show surprise on Christmas for also Marvel fans. So you guys probably already know what it is. But yeah, luckily Agent Carter is only 18 episodes. I'm sure by the time it ends, I'm gonna wish it was more. Apparently it's really, really good. So we're looking forward to that. But sadly, we do have to change up the schedule for that because editing two episodes of this and an Agent Carter every week plus everything else I'm doing and the gaming channel. It's just way too much for me to handle. So enjoy these last double episodes together. Again, that will be coming back as soon as Agent Carter is over. Anyways, we last left off with Malik calling Rosalind and telling her to bring someone. And she said that she'll bring him. Don't know who that is, probably Coulson. But at the same time, I was guessing last episode, doubt he wants Coulson, right? It's probably the Inhumans or something that's in her factory. Or not factory, her, her compound. Could even be Lash since they just got him as well. But knowing Malik works in the government and everything, he could be disguising himself as a good person and just calling Roslyn as a part of the government. Not necessarily as like a evil Hydra member. She might not know he's Hydra or he has any ill intent at all. He might, She might just think he's a part of the government and is willing to hand over in humans or whoever. So this could be really bad. I don't think Rosalind's bad, even though she had the phone call with him, I don't think she knows he's an evil person. I'm just, I'm at least hoping, cause uh, Coulson, I don't want him to get betrayed by Rosalind. But yeah, it also seems like Fitz and Simmons are gonna open up that portal again, cause he said he found a way to do it. So we're gonna be headed back to that planet soon. Anyways, let's just hop right into the episodes here. Leave a like on the video if you've been enjoying Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and are looking forward to Agent Carter in the future. Also, one last thing about Agent Carter, it might not come next week, probably won't, but I will be watching them and stacking them up behind the scenes and then editing them as Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is still doing one episode at a time. It might be starting in like two weeks or maybe three weeks, and then the members will just get a bunch of episodes to watch. Uh, ahead of time. But yeah, that is it on Agent Carter and all that stuff. Let's hop into this episode, leave a like on the video, subscribe, and leave a comment down below once you're finished, and let's hop into it. Octopus is one of the great symbols. I just watched an octopus video. Supremely intelligent, highly adaptable, and they are ruthless killers. You control them all now, right? Vault is said to have Hydra's greatest power. Why don't you and I put it to good use? What is in the vault? I will find that vault. You're a smart predator. But you don't live on top of the food chain. Whoa. <laughs> He's gonna just have him killed right here. Okay, Captain America. <laughs> the food platter. Why do I like watching these scenes and I'm rooting for Grant in these scenes? So, Malik wanted me slaughtered, which means I'm on the right track. See, I know where the vault is. Just don't know how to get in. Does everyone else on the team know that Fitz and Simmons are trying to open the portal back up to the planet? That I haven't heard them speak to anyone else about it except for themselves. I'm a little worried they're doing this secretly. We kissed. That happened. 
Do we need to talk about it? Nope, we do not need to. Why don't we just see what happens? Will that happen again? Take <laughs> the fun out of it. I like Roz. Whether she can be trusted, yet to be determined. How is that not a deal breaker? Because the only spies without trust issues are either young or dead. I hope I can trust Roz. I want to. That's why I'm bringing her here, face to face, so I can look her in the eye and find out. Hmm. Meanwhile, the rest of you- Put her in the special life. chair. I like knowing that he doesn't fully trust her yet. Today we're launching Operation Spotlight. The objective, to peer into every shadowy corner of the ATC. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the last few days have been hard. Handling extraction, May and- Him. Okay. I guess the new guy will gain a first-hand look of our operations with Agent May. Uh... <laughs> I want to know everything. What's inside the facility, how close they are to this cure they've been working on, which inhumans they're holding and where they came from. Dang, I do really like knowing this side of Coulson, that he isn't just completely head over heels for Rosalind. He's got concerns of his own, and he's launching, launching a full investigation of, of her. Hopefully that's not like going too far and just going to completely make Rosalind angry at him. I'm sure she would do the same thing with S.H.I.E.L.D., right? You see, the trick is... Oh, no. no. It's gonna hurt. Build anticipation. But you have to let him imagine a better world. Uh, it's burning away his beard. Fine. is all you want, there's nothing to tell. He uses different people when he travels to Zepcal. And even they don't know where the vault's buried. He didn't know. Just didn't know Zepcal was the one I needed. He killed the guy that told the truth. Be proud. You stayed quiet. You would have fit in good with my man. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Okay. Wow. He could end up hiring them. Who knows? <laughs> Classified, but to me it's home. That's cute. Almost as cute as flying me in circles for six hours on a plane. I don't know if I'm in Albuquerque or Albania. Imagine the possibilities. And be flattered. I waived our usual blindfold protocol. Oh, they'll see you're going soft, director. <laughs> we expect nothing it less. It feels like they're just both playing on each other here. It's working very well, but I just I just don't know. I'm glad Colson's doing this so we can trust Rosalind more. Sorry, what is goodness. Hunter wearing here? <laughs> a glitch, yeah. Of course it looks like a glitch. That's the point. You congratulate yourself, crisis averted. They just made him look like a little hacker kid. The root kit buried deep inside your system. Until hackers activate it to bypass that sweet, stateless, multi-factor authentication code you are so bloody proud of. You haven't brought in anything except the, uh... I don't know. I need to make a phone call. They're kind of too good at this. Parent security leak. Have you found the cause? Well, ma'am, I She knows this is Coulson. The second she's gone... Dearest, is it possible that your containment module tried to access the ATCU system? Absolutely. It scans any local network it finds. All our hardware does. Well, we noticed, and we're going to have to go ahead and shut that down. Can't blame a guy for trying. Play nice with the FBI's task force and fix it. We really have to figure out other ways to flirt. <laughs> <laughs> then, like, one-upping each other, basically. And who can gather the most information off the other person <laughs> they're floating right now is instead of like being on the phone and being like, no, you hang up first. No, you hang up first. It's like, oh my gosh, are you spying on me? No, you're spying on me. I'll be in Moscow soon enough with a day off. Come see for yourself. I wish I could. But I'm not going to Moscow. This is the only flight I could find passing over Zepco. He's jumping. Ladies and gentlemen, please return to your seats. Seatbelts fastened. Makes oh, no. some turbulence coming up. Don't be alarmed. That's just your pilot diving to equalize cabin pressure before you freeze to death. Oh, and uh, from all of us here at Hydra, thanks for flying the friendly skies. <laughs> Terrifying, dude. Oh my, he didn't need to blow it open. There's a doorknob. Now they can't close it. Your script's obsessed with death and ritualistic killings. It's intertwined with the origin of pagan devil myths. And then suddenly there they were, secretly funding NASA missions. Just copious This is crazy. This group was evil and used Will as a blood offering. Is there going to be some crazy god monster thing there? Is that what that monster is? Some old pagan god? Demon? 
Excuse me? Stop! Just stop trying to do all the right things. It's too much. Women. <laughs> they recruit you out of college? Mm -hmm. Studying history. I started to inadvertently uncover how much of that history S.H.I.E.L.D. had helped to shape. So they snatched me up. Ah. That's pretty cool. Probably why he likes Thor so much, too. The weird thing is... They flew her in circles around this place and like for like six hours, apparently they said he's not revealing the location at all, making sure she doesn't have GPS on her. But then she he brings her up to his office, which is like on a second story floor with perfect view of exactly where they're at. There's buildings in the background, like a bridge, like water, like I think she knows exactly where you're at now. OK, Hunter, type this in. C colon forward slash system forward slash request user. He types slow. Hunter. Oh, God, Hunter, please tell me you know which one is forward slash. Yes, typing. <laughs> this is playing it all funny. <laughs> Bingo. Good thing he knew what colon was and forward slash. Very nice. Enhanced specimen control. North. Stairs at the end of the hall. Specimen? Why oh, they gotta call them specimen? Now. Mm. My superior is on Pennsylvania Avenue. I need to step away for a moment to give them my full report. Okay. Do you need me to do anything? Why bring me if you're not even gonna talk to me? That's what she does. That's pretty cool. Where do you get off? <laughs> what do you expect? I don't know. Get angry. I cannot fathom any way out what? of hurting someone I care about. You think that I'm not angry? I'm sick to my stomach. I'm furious, but not you. Because we had years side by side. Never occurred to us. And then when it does, we don't have the courage to talk about it. Well, you only mention it at the bottom of the sea facing You wait till I'm bound for a war on an aircraft carrier, and then you get swept off to some far-flung planet with him. Top marks, pilot, astronaut, hero man. I would do anything. Do you love him? I don't know. I think... Yes. Oh no. I thought for sure it'd be a no. Hayden, he's great. Why else would you fall for him? He did everything right. And you dove through a hole in the universe for me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the right move? Ah, uh, look at that. Let's let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, best scene in the series. Let's go. We needed that. We've been I've been waiting for that. Oh now she's crying. Yes, is that what Hydra? It was it the octopus Hydra head thing? Hey, show it. The episode did start with Malik talking about the octopus. The Hydra symbol. Andrew was a PhD in psychology, now he's a specimen. Yeah, see that word, I don't like that. Oh, he got to him first, dang. Dr. Garner, they made it look I'm like so she was walking in the room. Thing. No one warned me there'd be a flight. Who are you? I'm Gideon She Mount. did get him. I advise the president's staff, and I want to assure you that we're working with S.H.I.E.L.D. to do everything we can to help you. It strikes me that no one's asked if you even want treatment. They haven't asked your opinion on the situation at all, have they? No. That's something they should do. Then all they see. But unless his mind is taken over by Lash, then it's like... Because he behaves differently, even in human form. Maybe he can't really make his own decisions. Wait, Daisy... Anything on medications they've compiled for study? Are they trying to make more oil? fish oil? Those look an awful lot like fish oil. Oh, they are. Ain't no way. There's no better time to be a hacker, really. I hope there's not body parts in there. Oh uh, no, he's the guy that knocked him out. Download everything we can and make our getaway. Our friend Mr. Banks has just showed up and I do not have a handkerchief to cover my face. And that would be weird anyhow. They're playing the odds. Giving Terrigen to as many people as they can. They're not trying to cure in humans. They're, they're creating. 
Turn them into stone? Why would they lie about that? Lock her in there. She Do could be inhuman right now. This room overnight, Phil? Because I might need a little persuading. Now it's you who needs to convince me. Convince you? That you're not Hydra. Oh. Otherwise, you're never leaving. <laughs> Got her. Uh, what, what, what if Malik controls the company secretly and she's just not in charge and she doesn't know what's going on behind the scenes? I mean, that would be pretty crazy since she really thinks she's in charge. Oh. And somehow this whole Hydra thing, this is how it all connects. This is, uh, everything's connecting right now, except the planet. Some hidden Actually, wait, no, because they just revealed in the book the Hydra symbol. So maybe Hydra has the the planet some I was gonna say owns the planet. Oh why would they own the planet? Hydra has something to do with the planet since the the book I don't know. Hydra is a thing that's been going on a long time. Just like they said from the castle walls and everything. Everything to do with that monolith, the rock, has been going on a long time. All the sacrifices and everything that they've been sending people there. And then the NASA company and everything like that. That could all be Hydra. Everything's about to connect. I could feel it. They won't find anything out that I wouldn't happily tell them. What's wrong with you? Stop lying. Why don't you tell me who you really are? Who no, she knows for? she's lying. I really trust her What's for some reason. Look at you. Don't play games. I wasn't playing games. I thought... I thought there was something between us. You lied to me. Andrew isn't being kept at your ATCU facility, is he? Of course not. Uh oh. Are you torturing me? Is that the idea? <laughs> I've been around waiting for the other shoe to drop. I've been trying to figure out what to say. Because I do want to apologize to you. For Andrew. Oh. He killed your friends in cold blood. Tried to kill you. That is very true. I'm sorry. I Shit. forgot about that. Dang, this whole time. For being willing to put those bullets in him when you did. I see a nice friendship forming here. No, no, no! What's in the briefcase? Is it her baton things? But I thought you were different. Well, stop with the mind games. I'll admit, you're good. Pretending to fall for me. Obviously, I've already said multiple times, I trust Rosalyn. She's like crying here. She's getting emotional. I don't think she knows what's going on behind the scenes. Or maybe it is a specimen facility there. And the fish oil pills are going to not humans, but animal testing. So they could test a cure on them or test different things. They're collecting fish oil pills and using them on animals. That's what's creating the casings and the hardening and the, the, the rocks, all that stuff that's in the boxes. I still trust them. I just don't think that they know about Malik, obviously. Because you slipped up. Tahiti. The first time we met, you tried to get under my skin talking about Tahiti. So I was she did say that. Hope that today you would confirm a high level source from within S.H.I.E.L.D. But you claim you have none. That's because I've been well, honest. The only other possible way that you could know about that is if you got your intel from Hydra. So why don't you share your source? I'm not sharing anything with you anymore. I did wonder how she knew about Tahiti, but like... Maybe she just said it because it's a place. I'll cut the melodrama. My agent at the center of your compound confirmed that you're not trying to cure in humans. You're making as many as you can. What are you talking about? And yeah, she doesn't know. Specimen control. They're inside Roz, so you know what they found. No. Oh, no. No one's this allowed on these floors for risk of infection. Gideon Malik. I know the name. Industrialist. He served on the World Council. He's a friend. I've worked with him more than a decade. He advises the president's staff, helped design the ATCU, oversees the science division. It's Malik. It's just Malik. See, I knew it. Let's go. Rosalind, good. He gave the Tahiti intel. Make that makes sense. I'm, I'm glad Rosalind's good. Let me guess. They didn't put Will she forgive Coulson for this? Maybe she'll thank him. I don't know. Oh, they got inhuman powers. That is crazy. 
Uh. What does she have in the briefcase? Let's see if we can level the playing field. Really? Your batons, that's your game changer. <laughs> oh, dang. Wait, does it suit her up? Oh, wait. Oh, can she call them back? Oh my gosh, she can. <laughs> that's so cool. She's like, Thor. I love that. <laughs> that's super sick. Let me make a call to my people. Your people. Yeah, I don't see that happening. If Malik went to these lengths, your agents are in serious danger. I can get them out. Or sell them out. Phil, look at me. Please believe that I don't know what's going on. Trust her, trust her. I don't think this guy knows either. Does he? Get you out of here. See Hydra? If you're worried you can't trust me, worry on the move. She called him. He's trustworthy. Oh my gosh. That is sick. We've seen that before, alright? Not this exact one, but S.H.I.E.L.D. had a similar thing. He's in the vault. That easy. I'm hardly ever impressed. I'm shaking hands with presidents. Hell technology Why is he here? from other planets. Didn't really phase me. I technology from other planets. Now I'm beginning to think that maybe I was looking at it from the wrong angle. You just might be Hydra's second head. I want to know the history lesson. <laughs> I know you're all about rebooting Hydra and all that. But do you know much about our history, our origin? What if it doesn't need rebooting? I mean, Malik's still here. He's got men of his own. Funding to build this whole no, empire. No, no, no. Red Skull was following the principle that Hydra was built upon. Uh -huh. Ultimate power was not of this world. Well, we're much, much older than that. Aw, oh, this is gonna go hand in hand with the Fitz and Simmons scene reading the book. They're gonna cut away to that, they gotta. Hydra is actually as ancient as this stone. Is that part of the thing? <sighs> this one here and other surviving stones like it have been passed down for a hundred generations. And then how does that have to do with Inhumans too? This was cut. It's gonna turn to liquid. A stone, a monolith that possesses otherworldly properties. It all connects, that's crazy. They've been doing their own investigation. <laughs> they just didn't know it connected till now. Thousands of years ago, Yep, I love the scenes going hand in hand. Wow. Distant to rule it. So powerful, so fearsome. That others were consumed with dread, and so they banished it from the earth. Sent it through the portal to a distant planet. Oh, is that what the dust monster thing is? The one that can shapeshift? Oh, the symbol just gets upgraded over time. Just taken different shapes. The entity has been given different names. Every this is so cool. Sent men through the portal. Uh huh. Hoping to save or at least serve our leader on the other side. They banished it, but it's their leader? I thought they were. He was going to say they sent them there to kill it finally. It's their leader. Hi Whoa. We're building an army for it to command when it returns. Oh. And you and I will rule. Project Distant Star Return. I don't think Grant wants to follow a leader. I think he wants to be the leader. And why exactly should I believe a word of it? Because we're closer than ever to the final chapter. We're going to write it ourselves. But you don't have to believe me. I Because there's so many inhumans now. Off a shield, watch it writhe. I'll help you do that. A shield was able to achieve something with a portal that Hydra in thousands of years has never been able to accomplish. And what is that? They brought someone back. They're very smart. Very, very smart scientists. Hey! Let's talk. Wow. I can use a session <laughs> with you, Doc. You seem to be carrying around a lot of baggage these days. It's nice to finally meet you. My name is Grant. No, you are. What are you doing here? Learning. It's been a good few days educating myself. Is it gonna harden him? Mustard gas. Oh, mustard gas. Oh, I thought it was the the amber stuff. That's messed up. 
I don't think he's dead. He's probably just gonna transform and be all right in there, right? Dang, that was a lot of information. Um, episode eight, boom. Everything ties together. The monolith, the Inhumans, why it's all happening at this time, which is very specific for it all to tie together. It's because of the fish oils and lots of Inhumans showing up. So they're closer than ever to building their army for the dude, whoever the Inhuman guy is over on the other planet to return. So everyone else that they've always sent over there, are, are they sending in humans right now? Or are they, no, they're containing in humans for when he returns so he can have an army, right? And is that why the Inhumans were so scared of it? Because within it, they knew the Inhumans were really scared of it because there's an, another Inhuman inside of there that's more powerful than all of them. Too powerful for this world, and that's why it was sent there in the first place. Maybe it is a Lash 2.0 that can like transform the different things. Anyways, luckily we got two episodes here, so let's hop into the next one. Half Moon Pub. Isn't that where we had our first drink? I go there a lot. Of course you do. Yeah, it's not like it's a memento or anything. You know, Look at them happy again. Crazy to keep seeing you like this. Oh. Oh. You told Banks about us? Yeah, I tell Banks everything. He's that trustworthy. He's really scary looking, so everyone can see why I don't trust him. <laughs> Any sensible girl would swipe left in this moment. Honestly, don't know what that means. <laughs> He's a Luddite. You know I have a flying car, right? Uh, yeah, it's from the 60s. That's true. <laughs> All very valid. What is he eating? Why is there just a big glob of square Cuba? What is that? Oh, that's their burger? It's just wrapped up, okay. <laughs> Why are they making it such a fine dining experience? <laughs> I thought it was like a giant tofu, like a pound. I can't protect you on the inside. <laughs> Thanks, Lancelot, but I'll be just fine. Lancelot. Hey, I came up with that last episode, but for Lance. So what's the plan once you're in? Just another day. But I scheduled a meeting with Malik, and that way... <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. No, please tell me this is a dream. Ain't no way. No, this is a dream. It has to be. Where? How far? Grant? <laughs> what an intro. Wait, wait, wait. No. Dude. Oh no. Oh, that is a dark opening. Oh, oh he is gonna kill Ward. First. What did you do? Seems I just eliminated a leak at the ATCU. You murdered Rosalind to keep her from digging into Malik? Come on, Coulson. You really think Rosalind is gonna stop Malik from opening another portal? Now he knows what they're up to. Trying to open the portal. No, oh, they're there. Panic in your voice before you died. This isn't over. Oh, you know, this opening is, came out of nowhere. Oh, I hate that Rosa is dead. Please tell me you got a laser finger. Laser finger, laser finger. Please. No, he doesn't have one. Oh. That would have been sick if he snapped the gun right there with his metal arm. I don't I don't think it has super strength though. Ocean Ocean breeze breeze candle flamethrower. Good idea. Why'd you light one? There's already a bunch right there. Oh. It's gonna explode. I thought he was gonna make a flamethrower. That would have been sick. Very, very nice. Too smart. This is so much fun. Ah, I cannot believe what he is going to be going through the rest of the season with Rosalind dead. Now, in the back of my mind, just thinking of the Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. writers because they're absolutely crazy. Rosalind um, faked her death here. They, they implanted a little thing here that it would do a little explosion. She rubbed some burger ketchup on it. Completely fake. She's in on it with Grant and Malik. I know that's not true. But, you know, I just have to say it, because what if that happens? 
it won't it won't she's actually dead here and um that was so so messed up why did they do that like for a lot of people they probably didn't trust Rosalind this whole time i trusted her the whole time so at least i got some episodes with her where i was like i really like her but people might have just started liking her last episode or during this opening dinner scene and then they kill her off stop doing that stop doing that she could have been a great character kill off someone else no don't kill off anyone else don't kill off anyone else what about miss price just drive oh. this changes everything gather everyone together oh They all get the info so quick. I'm out of there. You just told me to get the interrogation room ready. Oh, why? Is he gonna be interrogating people here? Because they somehow knew her, where her apartment was or what? But it was Grant, so. Oh, gives you chills, dude. When you two were sleeping together, did he ever confess any personal details? Then he's going right in. Much talking. How was your relationship with Ward after he saved your life? I was grateful. He needs to make everyone ready to kill him at any moment without hesitation. He and I, we were like brothers. The hero at complex? Yep. Like at the time now I realized he was just using me. Using you for what? It's hard to describe really, but it was like, like he was trying to replace something that had gone missing. I just want to get the guy who took Roz out. So do we. Which is why there are a couple of people I need you to meet. Welcome to the team, Baldy. That was fast. <laughs> Seems I just gave the go-ahead. Been a while since I took a shot from that far out. Felt good. Yeah, a bit. Guess in all that excitement, you forgot about the part where we need Phil Coulson alive. Why do they need him alive? Because of what they figured out about the... the rock? Because if Coulson doesn't make it out, you get that closure you've been searching for. Closure's not something that I haven't put much stock in. That's a lot of rocks. These five stones were extracted from the monolith centuries ago. Oh, that's where the little cubes in it are. The holes. Oh my gosh. Heck, whoa. You were supposed to take Ward out. I sent you to do a job. You failed. Oh. You need to calm down. Now you're blaming him. Ward should never have had the chance to do what he did. No. She's right. I'm the one who picked Ward for this team. Everything that happened since, it's on me. What are you thinking? It's simple, Agent McKenzie. To take Ward out, I need to cross some lines the Director of S.H.I.E.L.D. shouldn't cross. Mm. Well, maybe those lines aren't meant to be crossed. Maybe not, but this is happening. What, you want me to fill in? As acting director until it's finished. Really? Just send him to Ward with a shotgun axe. The only one I trust who doesn't have an axe to grind with Ward. An axe? What is he planning? They're going off books, doing something that they shouldn't do. Court will open on Mavith. The only thing that's left is getting to the other side. Mavith, that's, that's what they're calling it? I feel like they've said that before. Oh yeah, yeah, because that's what it means in... That means like death or whatever, right? Hydra's been searching for the thing on that planet for... Then why would you tell them to do it in the first place? Wife's tale, Hydra mom's tale, they're goblin babies. But I've... <laughs> they're goblin babies? Probably true. You don't think I want to save him? That it's not tearing me up inside. He saved my life and you know how I feel about him. But to put so many other lives in jeopardy would be selfish. It's not selfish. Uh, yo! Is he being controlled? Yeah, yeah. He's being controlled. Can't you see it? The telekinesis guy is back. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, he's dead. Run. Yo, this man. Let's go. Mr. Malik is waiting. Ugh. And they got the two people that can open the portal. They just overheard them too. Great. Our target's in a public place. Plenty of lucky lose then, I imagine. You serious about all options being on the table? You got something particular in mind? You ever robbed a bank before? See, Hydra's been opening one portal or another for centuries. All it takes is a few stones and a building with just the right vibrational frequency. What's all this about that? They know about all that? Okay. They just can't ever get someone back. They don't know how to get back. You really are a mm -hmm. sharp cookie. Maybe now you're ready to reveal the secret. Come a little closer and find out. I'd get closer. So we have a situation. 
Fitz and Simmons have been kidnapped. What? By who? Hydra, by the looks of it. It seems they knew we were coming. That's why Ward mentioned the portal. He wanted us to go there. Okay. He didn't give Mac any options. Ah. Oh. Anyone need explaining what to do next? We got no heroes here today, mate. Yeah, this is interesting. <laughs> oh god. How'd you find me? <laughs> that guy's acting was a little whack. Ah, nice. Cool trick. He's gonna confess everything if he hears her scream or whatever. Psychopath. Seems you're still scared of me, Fitz. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. I even told you to make a move before it was too late. Guess what? Too late. They, they made some moves. Just tell me how she came back and this all ends. Duh. Are those real screams? Oh, we can just sit here and listen. But there's one thing in his past he can never make right. <laughs> what is this? Did my brother send you? Grant Ward. Doesn't even know you're here, mate. That's his brother? That's gotta get to Grant, right? I wasn't expecting a call from a dead woman's phone. I spent every second since you murdered Rosalind trying to understand just how your sick mind works. That is, until now. What's that supposed to mean? There's someone here who'd like to say hello. Does he care at all? Seems like he does. I got two of yours, so you take one of mine. Like I said, two sides, same coin. I don't, yeah, I don't think Coulson would actually kill him though, right? Yeah, they're giving him water and stuff. And as far as we can tell, you're the only thing left in this world that he cares about. Which means, you're the only way I can draw him out. Hopefully, Coulson won't have to kill you. I don't think he would. But you better finish him off when you do. <gasps> oh, he ate him just as much. Honestly, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it's always like he felt it's, it's all true. Couldn't admit what had really happened. Instead, he kept promising never to let anyone hurt me again. Slightly unnerving coming from the guy who just chucked you down a well. If Brad. Oh, he doesn't want to hear you like that. You okay? Is everything they're saying true? Go listen to them. They're the bad guys. They're the bad you guys. Man. I love very much. Do that. Because uh, I didn't want to let you hurt me again. That was one time. Really? One time? Then explain what the hell you did to mom and dad. Thomas. And you killed them. And Christian, too. You know what type of people they were. They hurt us both. I couldn't let that happen again. Dad <laughs> needed a walker to get around. Who was he gonna hurt? And now I'm coming to put you down. <laughs> Dang, this could be the end of Grant. Actually. Oh, no. You will tell me everything I need to know right now. Do you? Uh, they could have really used Daisy out there in the field. They got the vibrations up again. Anyone who goes to that planet will die. That thing on the other side drives people mad. Well, that's certainly an interesting theory. Here's another. It wants to come back. Uh-oh. Oh, Fitz. Sorry, Gemma. I always thought Fitz would give up the world for you. Looks like now he finally has his chance. This is not good. I, I don't know if these characters survive another season. I don't know. Literally, this is so bad. But they just killed Rosalind in this episode. There's no way they'd kill another one. Or anything like that. My oh my gosh. The They're What's making the inhuman on? team. Hydra has Fitz and Simmons. And they're planning to open another portal. Joey's on the Which is team. why we're going to stop them. Yeah. Well, why us? I'm guessing we're all they've got. I wouldn't be asking you for your help if I didn't think we had a chance. So either you step up and do the damn job, or you let the bad guys win. <laughs> I like Mac leading. It's pretty cool. Being called director. I want you to lead our men on the other side. Oh. Serious. I've been working for this moment ever since Shield murdered Carol. Why would I give that up? Because you've already won. Shield's finished. Do you really need to take a victory lap? This isn't over until I'm standing over Colson's dead body. 
Yeah, he doesn't really believe in the whole Hydra thing. He never really has. Don't talk to me about weakness, old man. Weakness is old man. blindly. Learn that the hard way. I'm not asking you to follow. I'm asking you to lead. That is true. Waiting for this moment for a long time. John Garrett is the only reason I put my faith in Hydra. And that is the greatest thing he ever achieved for our cause. I'm no oh dang, he's gonna win a reward. It's real. Probably he'd finally believe. And then we'll be able to do whatever the hell we want. Is that what Grant wants? Ultimate power? Like, this is actually getting crazy. Like, they're, they're I mean, it's just an inhuman. But what it was capable of doing, like controlling that whole planet and the weather on it, the sandstorm, all that, shape shifting, driving people crazy. That's really bad. This is definitely setting up some uh, big villain. Not strong enough to live in a world that doesn't have you in it. <laughs> Better make it back quickly then. Come back to me. Just don't bring that thing with you. It's it's gonna be my ever back as well. Will it's gonna be Will it's gonna be Will I'm telling you, I called it like five episodes ago. It's gotta be. It shape shifts. We've seen it turn into an astronaut. I don't think that camouflage is gonna work on that planet, but you know maybe. Uh yeah, I probably would. It's all rocky. There it is. Jump on in. Wait for them all to jump in, right and they close it on Get them. To the exit coordinates. We'll turn the portal back on exactly 12 hours. Got it. 12 hours. This is crazy. Oh, what has shield turned into? What has this show become? New beginning for both of us. You can't do this. Only complete lunatic would go down there without a plan. I'm ending this. He's gonna do on the portal. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, but I just got it locked in. We need to move. You need to all just jump. Maybe. <laughs> Coulson's going. Oh my gosh! It has an opening. He is just going straight in the portal. Don't die of fall damage. I'd pull the shoot. I think that. Do they even know what just went in? Oh my gosh! Imagine if it shut down. He just splat right there. Jeez, I would not trust that. Like, it, has he played Portal, Portal One, or Portal Two? Did Coulson not think of momentum? Like, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. He just vroom, goes in. We saw Gemma get spit out when she got sucked into the portal, and she flew pretty high. He's gonna go in. He's gonna go flying into the air, and then he's, he has a parachute at least, so he's gonna be able to use that, right? What if there was a wall right in front where he comes out? He's just gonna splat up against it. He has no idea the orientation of this portal. And he's gonna get launched into the air. Okay, I think there's still a post credit. Let's see. Yeah, there is. Oh my gosh. I just wanna see him dropping in. Where's that inertia? Where's that momentum? Whoosh. Where is he? He's gonna drop in from above. There he is. Hey, why didn't you parachute? He would come out of the sky. Oh my. Ow. Yeah, you shouldn't have dropped at that speed. Oh my gosh. What a way for Coulson to die. No, he's not actually dead, but like, man, he did not take that class on momentum. That's why you always play the portal games. You just gotta understand portals. Speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Coulson is speedy thing. All right, well, these episodes are crazy. I love the lore we're getting here. I never really cared for Hydra. Like, it's a cool group. Like their uh, symbol and everything and what they say about like once the leader's killed off, it just keeps growing and growing coming back you can't really kill off hydra which is kind of crazy that's that big of a evil organization but i never really super cared for it but learning that it's now part of like history in the mcu and it just goes back so far and it ties in with this inhuman stuff and it ties in with all these powers it's not just an organization for like taking over the government a spy organization all this stuff for wars it has to do with wanting bigger and great, greater powers. And it all ties back to this one inhuman that they sent to another planet. Now, where this monolith came from that just opens portals to that other planet, 
called, which they're calling Mavith or Mavith. Where that came from, I don't know. Maybe it's a meteor. Maybe it just came down randomly. I think in Reyna's vision, she said it came down in a meteor and there was like an ocean or something. Maybe she was talking about the rock itself turning into the ocean, but I remember Reyna's vision. I thought she said something about a meteor, but yeah, I really don't know. But yeah, just learning all this history about Hydra and what they're trying to do. All these people they send there as like whatever sacrifices probably. Crazy stuff to learn. It's a lot of setup to do in a show like that could just be about one thing, but they make it about 10 things and then they tie all 10 of those things together and it's so good. But they have to kill off Roslyn too. That's messed up. They really did not have to do that, man. I mean, it gives our characters so much motivation, especially Coulson here. Gone off the deep end, he is crazy right now. He instantly interrogated everyone in the office right after she died, gathering as much information as he could about Grant. Went on a secret mission that he couldn't tell anyone else about, just brought a couple people with him like a pilot, kidnapped someone, robbed a bank basically, instantly made a new director of S.H.I.E.L.D. and basically said, I quit for now. And then dove however many feet down into a portal to an unknown planet. Like Coulson went crazy this episode. In a good way. I like him like this. It's what Roslyn would have wanted, maybe. It's so messed up that she just, boom, died in a gunshot like that. <laughs> I didn't, no one could have seen that coming. They're just having a good time sitting at the they're about to eat their burgers for the second time and uh, hear glass shatter, gunshot go off. Uh, at, at that point, yeah. When the camera turned to her, she was uh, gone. Every season, it's always like pretty much closer to the beginning of the season where they tie the story together and give you those great payoffs. And then from there, it just spirals into madness. And uh, I can see this season already doing that in a good way. So yeah, my current predictions are still that... Uh, They'll find Will, okay, they'll bring him back, and he's going to be the Inhuman, shape-shifted into. That's what my original thing was, and I'm sticking with it. All the in-between stuff, whatever happens there to, to Grant, to the Hydra people, to Coulson, to Fitzsimmons, I have no idea. I do think Grant will fully believe in Hydra and support it after this planet journey experience. Or who knows, maybe the best thing to ever happen to Grant here, instead of just a bullet to the head from Coulson, would be making him get stranded on the planet. That would be a cool fate for him. I mean, but at the same time, if Will could survive on the planet, I'm sure Grant would be able to. He'd probably just take over Will's little house, little hut. But it would still be a uh, misery for the end of time. So every once in a while, they send him, they send through a portal like a little toy for Grant, you know? That'd be funny. I, I would want that fate. I'm hoping that happens too. Make Grant get stranded on the planet. He deserves it. But yeah, man, I'm excited for the next couple episodes here. Sadly, they will be one-off episodes, but uh, hey, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. is so good. They fit so much in one episode, you really don't need two episodes. And plus, we're getting Agent of Carter, so apparently that's going to be really good. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. And um, that's going to be it for this one. I will see you guys in the next video very, very soon.